Hi my friends, today we model this part, fork with the nose, this is the fork and this is the nose, which uh, has uh, an interesting feature, as you can see, there is a conical face here, you see, conical, and an extrusion which are a little difficult to be modeled. I found on YouTube a tutorial showing the modeling with the SolidWorks of this part, but uh, I didn't like it. Find the link to that tutorial in the description of this my tutorial. And uh, you can compare the strategy from there with my strategy. The drawing is here and uh, you can see dimensions. I don't want to uh, mention that in the model tutorial with the link in the description there are a lot of missing dimensions uh, and so on. I think these are good dimensions and you will see by uh, watching uh, the modeling. Let's model the part, yes? We start with a sketch in this plane. This is uh, the revolving body of the part with the conical face which has dimensions here and here. Only external, Not, nothing internal in the first volume. 50, 68 minus 5, 110, 45, and 50, uh, 72. These are the dimensions. Let's start. Some lines. One of them is uh, the center line. And now dimensions. 68 minus 5. and all is scaled. Other dimensions, 45, 110, and diameters, 50, and 72. Fully constrained, finish sketch, F6, revolve, and this is the first volume. Now we use this plane, XY, F7, to create the mentioned extrusion, this one which is uh, symmetrical, 80 with 24. We'll place it at this level. We draw a rectangle with the midpoint over the center point and dimension of 
24. Finish sketch, extrude, symmetrical on 80 millimeters. Okay. Now everything is okay, but we have to cut all um, which is uh, below this uh, con conical face. To do this, uh, we choose to create a contour without dimensions. This is uh, always uh, to be recommended. Look here. I project to lines to be construction lines and then I draw a line from here to the bottom and another one like this to be collinear with this line and to have the end on this line We also have to verify if these are on the same horizontal and to draw two lines, one, two, and to project as a center line the Y axis as you can see that's all finish sketch revolve cut okay now you see what is the result good next we think to create this uh, extrusion with a cylinder this cylinder which is placed at 68 and with a diameter of 30 good XY is the plane F7 circle 30 same vertical with the center point and dimension of 68 from it. Finish sketch, extrude, symmetrical, 100. You have the drawing so you can see the dimensions. This is to be filleted, filleted with 6, radius 6, and this as well. We will leave uh, at the end the modeling of the inner volume. So we continue with the nose, with this part, yes, which has dimensions in the drawing here you see them so I can continue in the plane XY by drawing some lines one two and an arc A slot thirty on twenty four with dimensions from this end 
to the center to the center point of 105 and at the height 90 extend not extend I'll place manually on the contour this arc Another line is from the bottom to the slot parallel at a dimension of 32. This is uh, 12.5. And uh, this point is at 31, as in the drawing. A radius of 12. And another dimension here of uh, 15. The last is a constraint. This arc must be tangent to the slot. Line from here horizontal and another one from this end vertical as you can see. Trim the unnecessary ends. Now we have two close contours. Finish sketch, extrude, I select one volume, symmetrical on 18, plus symmetrical on 10. OK. Now, the inner volume. You see, this is the inner volume. With a curved contour. So, we use dimensions which are diameter of 30, height of 38, another diameter of 56, and a radius of an arc of uh, 90. The plane is now YZ. To create a sketch, F7, I project geometry as a construction projection of this generator and then I draw lines arcs lines the arc is from this end to this line and the radius is 90 yes let me project geometry axis y as center line and then dimensions 30 and 56 56 these are not connected so i use extend for this line as you can see with dimension of 38 
good then we uh, draw closing lines this one and this one finish sketch revolve cut ok we add a fillet of uh, 12 to finish the external and holes as you can see in the drawing diameter of 18 is a through hole other two holes are in the centers of the slot 9 hole face center 18 through sketch hole 9 on this two through okay this is all let's apply a material steel cast with the same appearance not polished but cast and we select faces to be machined holes faces all this yes this is the part these faces must be polished let's see what about eye properties as you know for you to compare 1.2 kilograms close that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye